Well, hello. Hey, it's Brian Sanders with HSC. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are, whenever you're watching this. I wanted to share a really great resource, for, especially for operators of the XAG P100 Pro, but I also assert that this will still be valuable for people flying other XAG aircraft. Of course, like all documentation, you know, by time you might be watching this, if it's a year later or whatever, this document that I'm referencing might be updated, but this is called the XAG P100 Pro pilots operating handbook um, this was made thanks uh largely in part by the folks over at xag in australia so you'll notice metric references it's all good usual your, your uh, conversion to get yourself schooled up but i want to do a quick walk through to tell you all of the things that are included in this pilots operating handbook uh, so first, really useful, um, a lot of disclaimers and warnings. Also some really good references about uh, things to do to keep your aircraft to, uh, safe, the surroundings safe. Um, there's some good operating guidelines about pesticide management as well. Of course, always refer to your local rules and laws about that, that's pretty obvious. Uh, but if I scroll past all of these things, and I do really, I'm, I'm just flipping past them, but I do suggest that you read them. They're all, um, I think it's really uh, just good things to keep front of mind for you, and especially in one on your team as well. So if I scroll past all these, hopefully I'm not making you nauseous by doing that. Um, some, uh, this is the table of contents. These are all clickable. So when you have this in uh, a, a PDF reader like Adobe, you can click on all of these and skip around. So the beginning here, we start after those disclaimers, warnings, and safety protocols. We talk about the aircraft itself, the list of items, the overview, wiring schematics as well, status indicators for the tail lights, arm lights, um, the Revo spray system, the Revo cast system, including overview, assembly, and disassembly, or mounting and unmounting from the machine. Then we do a deep dive into the remote controller, the ARC3 Pro, um, uh, status indicators, remote control alerts and notifications, inserting and removing SIM cards, the RTK module, um, operating the aircraft, including button functions, um, return to land protocols, uh, networking modes, um, how the aircraft will respond when it loses connection, how to calibrate the remote controller if you ever need to do that. Uh, goes into a deep dive on the battery, the charger, the RTK uh, base station if you're using that. And then really helpful, I think, in addition to all of those things is the XAG1 app. So it talks about, it's like an app walkthrough basically, it talks about what the functionality is, what buttons do what, where to go in the app for what even gives a deep dive on each of the settings pages when you're looking at your device, for example. Uh, there's a really helpful uh, pre-flight checklist. I also recommend using hours, of course, uh, and then preparing the aircraft. Uh, and then it goes into all of the operational modes, like autonomous modes, importing fields, um, importing shape files, creating new fields, managing fields, uh, route pre pre-planning, that's a mouthful, need more coffee. Uh, it's morning if you haven't if you haven't picked up on that where I am. And then we've got operation parameters, modes, offset corrections, uh, A, B mode, manual operation, emergency control, post-flight maintenance and care, uh, good guidelines and pointers for transporting the aircraft. And then, I love this, uh, an entire maintenance guide on airframe, electronics, propulsion, the Revo Spray, Revo Cast, technical specs, and so on. All right, so I'm going to link where to find this in the description of the video itself. So at the very top of this YouTube video, you'll see a link to our uh, support portal, and that's where you'll find this document. This is version 1.0, so we're bringing it to you as soon as we got it here, and uh, do expect it to be updated, and um, so always use that link. You know, if you look at maybe download it a couple times a season, then make sure that you go back to that link to make sure you have the latest and greatest. Because of course the app will change, you know, how it operates will change. I'm sure firmware updates will happen. So just, I wanna make sure you have the latest and greatest. All right, thanks for watching. Hope this is helpful. Let us know in the comments what you think about this and um, you know, things like this are a good resource for you. I think they are, but um, you know, ultimately what we care about is if it's useful for you. All right, thanks again, see ya.